Okay, so I'm going to be making one of the One Up Keyboards DIY no solder USB cable kits. This is a micro one, so it's a snap together version. And this is everything that comes in the bag. So you'll have selected all the components that you want. So you've got your cable, you've got your paracord, you've got your heat shrink, and you've got your little connector pieces. There are a couple ways you can start. Um, these pieces of a heat shrink come with writing on them and you can just erase that off. So I've done that to this one and part of this one. See, I was just using a regular eraser, but this is gonna shake the whole thing. Uh, it does take a little bit of effort and this is not the best eraser to be using if you have one of those white ones. Uh, they work much better, but I couldn't find ours, so I am working a little harder and getting it off with this, but then it makes a mess all over your desktop. But anyway, that takes off most of that. Well, it will take off all of it if you keep going. There we go. So that's all ready, not that we're putting that on first. So what you want to do is attach one of your ends to your wires. Okay, so we need to attach one in first, so I am just moving these little silver wires out of the way. Can you see that? The little silver wires out of the way. So you've got your three colors, four colors. So you've got your four colors um, ready to go. Okay, so I am actually going to do the A end first. So that's the bigger one. And for this one, I'm going to go with the way the picture looks. Move that out of the way. So my USB connector is this way with the green bit on the top, which means that I want my wires to go white, uh, sorry, yellow, black, white, and red. So they want to go in that order. Yellow, black, white, and red. And I can tell you from experience, they definitely like to change orders. So I usually pop them straight in like this and then just triple check that they're in the right order. So they have gone in yellow, black, white, red. Yellow, black, white, red. That is correct. So those are now pushed in as far as they go. Let's zoom in even more. So those are pushed in as far as they go now, yellow, black, white, red, like that, in as far as they go. And then you just press down over the sides, and you'll hear a little click, and a little click. And now you can see that the green piece is flush with the white piece. And we still have our silver pieces hanging at the end. So that is now securely, oops, sorry, that's now securely in place and we now need to feed our paracord over top of the cable. So your paracord comes like this and you've got two ends that we have uh, sort of uh, sealed, singed, stopped from fraying, otherwise this would go crazy frayed all the way through. So what you want to do is you want to take these little inner fibers and some pliers uh, and you're just going to wiggle out the white fibers and what you want to make sure that you do with this is make sure that they are all loose because what happens is if I pull and they're not all loose it's going to turn this part inside out. So you want to make sure that it's all loose and they're all loose there. So then I'm going to go to my other end and do the same thing. Now, if you want, if you're struggling with this, you can cut the ends, pull the white fibers loose, but what happens is the paracord part, the outside, will start to fray quite quickly. So you want to make sure that you do that quickly and then you want to sort of re-singe using a match or a lighter or something so that you don't have it fraying away. 
All right, so I'm pulling this. Now this side is all loose. This side is definitely all loose. You can see that easily comes out. And we did the other side all loose. So they're both all loose. So now what I'm gonna do is just pull one all the way through. But just be careful, it doesn't snag and pull itself inside out. So you just wanna go through and make sure that this end like that has gone through and then we'll just pull it straight. I'm trying to do this on a very zoom camera. There we go. And you just pull it all the way out. All right, so now I have my paracord without my inside in it and my inside is over here. You can do something else with that. It's actually nice and strong, so quite useful for other things. Right, so I've got my two pieces here and I now need to thread that over top of my outside cable. What you want to do with this little piece is pop some tape over the end of it. And so I'm just going to pop a little piece of tape over this so that it threads through the paracord a little bit easier. But what you definitely need to make sure when you do this is that this piece of tape is securely stuck to the cable itself because what happens sometimes and I actually gonna I don't know if you can see that that little piece is this little flap is like sticking out it'll catch and then as you're feeding it through it comes off inside the paracord and that is a pain in the ass so I'm actually gonna put another piece all the way around the top to make sure that it is thoroughly secured to the cable there we go. So we've got the cable and we've got paracord and I'm going to switch hands here and move my other connector pieces out of the way. Uh, so I'm going to grab my pliers quickly here and all I'm going to do is just open that a little bit wider. Again, if you've cut this, just make sure that you, you re-burn the ends so that you don't have it fraying like crazy because it will. And let's see if I've made this too big now. If I can't do this end, then I... Ugh. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is put too much tape onto the end of it. And I've now made this too big for my cable. So the fun bit then is taking it all back off and trying that again. Uh, and I'm going to try it just with the one piece off. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Okay, so the other one was just a little bit too too big. But now I risk this piece coming off. But that happens. I don't know which way works better. So you're just gonna inchworm inchworm this along like this. Oh, and we can see our wires, but no oh, there's my tape. There we go. So my little wires made it and my tape made it, but they managed to pull themselves through. That's all right though. Take off the tape. All right, so we've got it at this end and this end is a little bit too long. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut that a little bit shorter. Not with pliers or wire cutters. Uh, with the wire cutters. All right, so now we've got this end. We're gonna move all of our little silver wires again out of the way and twist those out of the way. And I'm gonna grab my little micro end. So this is my little micro, Ooh, focus, focus. There we go. My little micro end. That is your micro end. There we go. And turn back over here for a second. Okay, so the mini and the micro end are different. So if you are making a mini, this is not the order that you're going to put your wires in. Your wires are going to go in a different way in a different video. But 
The instructions are all on oneupkeyboards.com. If you go to the actual product page, you can click through the images and you'll easily be able to say which, see which order they go in. So just double, triple check because it's really easy for them to sneak around in the wrong way around. It's happened to me before. And then your cable won't work. So to do a micro, we're gonna glance back over and a micro goes yellow, black, white, red. Yellow, black, white, and red. Yellow. There we go. Yellow, black, white, red. So that is the way that they go in with the connector facing this way. Double check. Yes. So then you're going to put all of these into their respective holes. And you're going to double and triple check. So if we look at that, let's see if we can focus nice and close. There we go. Yellow, black, white, red. Yellow, black, white, red. Triple checking. I don't want that little silver wire in there. Pushing it in as far as it goes. And again, going to push down until you hear a little click. This one doesn't make the same sort of click that you hear with the other one, though. Uh, and I actually, with these ones, I do tend to use the pliers and I just give it an extra little squeeze. The top bit, like this, you're putting your pliers over the top white bit. You can push the little black pieces in to make sure that they're secure around the side. All you want to make sure is that when you look at it from the side that that little white piece is flush with the black. So you can see on that one, that as well, on both sides. Because then it won't, it'll not fit in the connector. Okay, now... This is the point at which you test your cable because you haven't put the metal connectors on the outside, you haven't, uh, or metal covers on the outside, and you haven't put your heat shrink over the top of it. So this is when you test it, um, which means I, means I need something to test it with. So this is my phone, and this battery has battery juice in it. So we're going to plug uh, this into here. like this. And we're going to plug this into my phone. And you can see, let's see it make it brighter. There we go. And you can see just in the top that my phone is indeed charging. So my cable's working. Uh, okay, so now we need to, there are, there are two things that you can do. If you want, you can extra secure your paracord to your cable at this point by putting a little dab of hot glue just on the inside of the cable. So pull the cable back, put your little dab of hot glue, and then slide your cable back over the top. Now we just have to wait for the glue gun to heat up. Not so exciting. Okay, so you kind of have to get, you, you have to pull this back because you want it back here. You don't want to make a lump up here where you're going to cover over with your metal cover. So you kind of have to put the hot glue back here and then really quickly pull the um, paracord back over before your glue dries, cools, whatever you want to call it. Okay, here we go. Tiny bit of glue. Oh, that's a lot of glue. Ah, and I'm going to stick it to everything. And then we're going to slide this back up. No, no, no. Well off screen. There we go. Sorry, guys. I needed space to slide it back up over so that it wasn't on screen. And I ended up with a little bit of extra glue there. There we go. So there's a tiny little bit of glue under there. So that's now going to hold my, hold my paracord in place. So we're going to try and do the other end, maybe, so that you can see a bit better. So that's where it needs to be. So we're going to slide it back a little bit to there. A little bit of glue on there. And then we're going to slide it back over. But then I need to pull it. There we go. Sorry, it's kind of, I don't have enough room on camera to do it. So there we go. So that one now has a little piece and some strings of glue at the end of it as well. Right, so there we go. That just makes it a little bit more secure. You don't need to do that if you don't have a hot glue gun. You don't need to go out and buy a hot glue gun to be able to make a cable. But if you have one, it just gives you a little bit extra. 
It's not security for the cable to stay connected and work. It's just for the paracord to stay in place. So if you're somebody who hauls on the cable, on this part of the cable, um, that part, then that might be a good thing for you to do. But if you're very good at grabbing just like the end part and pulling it out of your device this way, then that, you'll be fine. Okay, so we need to add our metal, add our metal covers now. So they just fold open like that. So that's the A. And then we just slide that in flat like that. And your top piece goes down over the top like that. Should I zoom back in for this? So you just want to make sure that that is flush, flat at the front. And then you're going to take your pliers and move everything so that it's the right way around for you. <clears throat> and you're just going to crimp that bit down and then these two little side bits crimp over the top. So your metal cover is now secure and you pop your heat shrink over that side but we'll put our metal piece on for our micro. So that one which has the prongs on it, prongs on it, that one goes on the top part. See this bit's rounded, rounded, this piece is rounded so it goes that way and it just sits does it like that. Uh, but this is actually the bit that needs to go on first because it goes underneath. But that's how you figure out which one's which. The flat one goes with the flat one and look it fits. Imagine that. And then this piece goes over top and it just snaps in like that. Uh, and then again you're just going to take your pliers and crimp your little prongs around the cable. There we go. So then you've got your other metal cable secure in place. So you've got two pieces of heat shrink. You've got a smaller piece and a larger piece. So the smaller one goes on the smaller micro end. And this is, they're the same length and I find because uh, this is going to go down here, uh, I like to cut mine just a little bit off. That is totally personal preference. You have, uh, you can leave it as long as you want, but I'm going to cut a little piece off, just a little piece. The A side, because it's the way, because it's wider, it looks better. I like it as is. So you're just going to open this up and you're just going to slide this over the top like that just so it's flush with the that little that piece there you go uh, and then we're just going to turn our heat gun on there we go so we've got this piece all sealed and done and then we're going to go around to this side and we'll pop this one on this one's a tad bit oh, I was going to say a tad bit more snug but that actually went on pretty easily um, and then you're just going to make sure that you leave enough room at this end. So I usually go, um, there's those two little marks. I usually go to there, but that's me. You can put it wherever you would like. And there we go. So you've got your cable, your other end done as well. So there you go. You have your own homemade made it yourself, picked out your colors, designed it yourself. Uh, DIY, no solder, so just clip together. Cable kits, cables, all finished from 1UP Keyboards. So there you go. It's as easy as that. And you've got a really cool cable that you can charge your phone, you can connect your laptop, you can connect your keyboard, depending on whether you want micro or mini. Um, you're all set to go. There you go. Thanks.